proof of the what's known as the quotient rule. So, so if we've got y is equal to u divided by v, where u and v are functions of x, then we can write that as y is equal to u v to the minus 1 using our rules of indices. Now, if we now use the product rule, which we established in a previous video, so we've got dy by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v du by dx, then we're going to have dy by dx is u, because that's what u is, times the derivative d dx of v to the minus 1, plus v, which is v to the minus 1, times du by dx, which is the derivative of u. So that's going to give me u. Now, the derivative of uh, this we can't do, so we have to do d dv of v to the minus 1, and to compensate for that, we have to do dv by dx. This is called implicit differentiation. So we use the, the chain rule, plus 1 over v, because what v to the minus 1 is, times du by dx. So it's going to give me u. Now the derivative of this with respect to v is going to be minus v to the minus 2 dv by dx plus 1 over v du by dx. So this now becomes minus u over v squared dv by dx plus 1 over v du by dx. A common uh, denominator would be v squared. So that means I need to multiply that by v and that by v. So we get minus u over v squared dv by dx plus v over v squared du by dx. Now normally, because we don't want a negative sign at the front, we're going to write v du by dx. So dy by dx is v du by dx minus u dv by dx. And because we've got a common denominator of v squared, that's all divided by v squared. And this is known as the quotient rule. Now you don't really need to know the proof, but you should learn the rule. So this has been a video to show you the proof of the quotient rule. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.